Hey, welcome back to Weeby Kids again. Just come to the woods to tell you a story. Um, and this story is from this book called Earth Tales from Around the World by Michael J. Caduto, a fantastic book. And the story that I'm gonna tell you is another bird story. Um, it's an old English folk tale and it is called Magpie and the Bird's Nest. And this story is set a long time ago when all the animals in the world were still learning how to live and how to be. One of those animals was the magpie. And the magpie was up in the top of the trees one day and it was busy collecting things and doing something. And the magpie, the blackbird spotted this. And the blackbird flew up to the tree and said to the magpie, magpie, what are you up to? And the magpie said, well, blackbird, I'm making a nest. The blackbird said, making a nest? Well, well, what's a nest? The magpie replied, well, the nest, a nest is somewhere for you to rest and somewhere to bring up your young and I'm busy making one. And the blackbird said, oh, what a great idea. I've never heard of a nest. I think all the birds should know about this. And the blackbird flew off through the woods across the hills, through the fields, into the marshes, along the shoreline, and returned to the treetops with all of the birds. And Blackbird explained that Magpie was, was making a nest and everybody should watch, and all the birds watch carefully. And first of all, Magpie flew down to the edge of a pond, and Magpie began to collect up lots and lots of mud. And it flew back into the tree and began to make this little ball shape. Now, the thrush saw this and said, what a great idea. This looks like a great nest for me. And without waiting to see the magpie finish, it flew away and started making itself a nest out of mud. But the magpie continued. And next, the magpie flew off into the treetops and started to gather sticks. And it came back with the sticks and it wove the sticks in and out of the mud. Hey, said the blackbird, that is much stronger. That is the nest for me. I'm going to make a nest just like that. And the blackbird flew away to start making its nest. But the magpie wasn't done. And the magpie flew off and it thought, this nest needs to look a little bit prettier. So it flew down on the ground and it picked up lots of small sticks and it came back and it began to decorate the outside of the nest with these small sticks. And the sparrow saw this and the sparrow said, well, what a beautiful nest. That is the nest for me. And the sparrow flew away and began to make its own nest. Now the owl had been watching and seeing how these nests were really great for small birds, but not for the big birds like the owl. But he didn't say anything, he just sat and waited. And the magpie went off again and the magpie went back to the pond and began to gather lots more mud. And with this the magpie began to put another layer of mud on the top of the nest to make it stronger and give it a little bit of a platform. Woo hoo, said the owl. Woo hoo, that is the nest for me. Woo hoo. And it flew off back to its pine tree and began to fashion its own nest. And all the other birds were still watching. But Magpie said to the other birds, I am exhausted with all of this work. I'm going to take a rest. So he snuggled down into its nest, but the magpie just couldn't get comfortable. Moved a wing here and a leg there. <sighs> then the magpie thought, well, oh, maybe I need to make this nest softer. So he began to pluck out feathers from its own breast and lined the inside of the nest with warm, soft feathers. Hey, that's the nest for me, said the starling. And the starling flew off and made itself this nest of mud and twigs and feathers. And the magpie fell asleep in its nest. But when it woke up the next day, there were still many birds around in the treetops. And the magpie continued to work on its nest. And as the magpie added bits and bits, each bird noticed and flew off and created its own nest. But there was one bird that stayed until the very, very end. 
and that bird was the turtle dove. And when the magpie had finished its magnificent nest, the turtle dove flew over and inspected it. And as it inspected it, it thought, this is the nest for me. But it didn't want to build its own. So he said to the magpie, magpie, make two, Maggie, make two. And the magpie said, make two? Why should I make two? I've spent all my time making this one for me. But the turtle dove continued, make two, Maggie, make two. And the magpie got quite angry as the turtle dove went on and on and on. Make two, make two. The magpie said, I will not make two or I can't put up with this noise anymore. And it flew off into the forest. And ever since that day, all the birds have made their nests a little bit differently. But none of them are as magnificent of the nest of the magpie. And also, still to this day, the turtle dove is a little bit lazy doesn't like to make its own nest and he's still flying around the treetops looking out for the magpie and calling make two Maggie make two so listen out for it when you're next out on your walk so I hope you enjoyed that story I like that story it reminds us that all the birds have different nests and for me, it, it kind of inspires me when I'm out walking to try and identify the different nests for the different birds. I also love that story because it's got a lovely little message um, in it as well. It teaches us that we can learn from each other. All the birds gather round and, and they watch the master nest maker, the magpie. But each of them took little ideas from the magpie and made their own very nests. And that teaches us that by working together and watching each other, we can learn lots and lots and lots. So remember that this weekend is the Big Garden Bird Watch. We've got everything ready at home. Um, if you've not done anything yet, then look at our nature activities and there's a, a video to help you make a bird table and some bird feeders. Um, we'll be taking part. We hope you do too. So have a lovely weekend. Thanks for stopping by at Weeby Kids and we'll see you again sometime soon. Bye.